Come on, dude. You alright? I'm fine, how are you? Yeah, alright. Bit of a sore, but I'll be okay. I'm a big boy. Just gotta keep the shit kind of relatively clean. You know what I mean? Um, but, ah, that works. Got a 75 mile ride, less than that, 72 mile ride, because we cut a little bit off yesterday. I'm hoping it's going to be quite nice because it's basically all, all along the beach. But <clears throat> as we were saying yesterday, <laughs> Vietnam's beaches aren't that great, are they? <laughs> but yeah, 70 miles off the main roads, nice and flat. And then we've got quite a day tomorrow as well, so I think it's less than 50 miles tomorrow, which will be badass. So I think we're going to do some laundry tonight. Uh, and then it gets quite hard. Then we've got 100 miles, um, about 10,000 feet of climbing up to Kaesan, uh, which will be interesting through the jungle. But we've got to get these next two days out of the way first. Hopefully, uh, without me falling off my bloody bike and smashing myself up. Again. Bad end. I got myself into a little situation. Can't seem to get away from it Ooh, I got to, got to, got to break free Uh, yeah Big boy glasses So the weather today, I think this is the most humidity I've ever been in It's rained overnight and we're, we're just standing still and sweating It's just an adhesive dressing with a bandage over the top but because it's so humid here the sweat is just making it like the adhesive dressing won't stay on. So I bought a load of bandages. It's got to work through these, through these things, haven't it? Yeah. Man's helping you. Yeah, he's, he's being really helpful. He's actually been instrumental in my healing process. So today's route was originally a little bit shorter, but on main roads. We've uh, tinkered with it, made it slightly longer, but we're taking these back roads, kind of hugging the coast instead. It's just so much less stress. And uh, considering we're feeling a little bit run down, we thought it would be an idea just to tap it out slowly today. Use as little energy as possible, 40 miles tomorrow, and then we got the big day, so we should be able to recover in time. It's still unbelievably humid. James was just saying he's lived in the tropics and never experienced humidity like this. It just soaked. 20 miles done, crack up. I'm gonna lose my mind, not make it out this time. Choking on every breath Tell you that life's not fair Well, it's not We've ended up on what we think is a brand new road Like, it's still got, still got the little bits on from when they made it I think we've lucked out because I'm guessing the surface wasn't this good a couple of weeks ago Chugging along nicely at 35 k's an hour Little bit of a taily The longer we can be like this, the better Yeah, we can get back on again though It's not giving us any information whatsoever It's completely blank screen So we sort of have to rely on gut instinct and I don't know, luck. This road comes around to the right in a bit and rejoins with that highway. Hey viewers, guess what's happened? Francis's clothes are all over the floor. You can't have three days in a row with no punches. Yeah, to be fair, yeah. You just rolled, rolled along as you came to a stop. I'm fed up of having punches. Oh my god, he's gone crazy. <laughs> what the heck is that? Karaoke bar? I think that's where we are. Got some bubbly tea stuff. Plate of sausage links. Things. It's my new adopted family. Oh. Mm. Better than my real one. Gosh. The two sons I never had. Right on the main road! You know it's the size of the butterflies here. They're, like, they're bigger than birds. How are you feeling guys? Exhausted after my little dance. I think it back, that was the last bit of energy that I actually had. That's horrible. Yeah. So we basically stopped for lunch, cooled down, and then rode around the corner and then got too hot again, so stopped to cool down. 
and that's where we are now. I quite like these little places where you sit on a plastic chair outside. It's just nice and chill. And the people who run them are always really friendly as well. They're always very surprised to see us, probably because we're in the middle of nowhere. You got a shot of me from that angle somewhere else, haven't you? Sitting in a very similar fashion. What is this on the Kelsometer? It's not that hard. It reminds me of a piece of piece. And the humidity. Ice Ice. in your hat. <laughs> this makes me feel very good. I am so cool. No, you're not. Not in the traditional sense. It's really quite remarkable, isn't it? I wish I could just fall asleep like that. having 30 winks man. That's complimenting you brother. So last 20 miles of the ride now, we're about to turn left onto the QL or whatever road it is, the one that everyone said we should avoid. But it's a means to an end, it's the only way of doing the last bit and we're gonna have a stonking tailwind, so not all bad. I'm feeling hungry, even though we've just eaten lunch. It's like tiny portions, tiny, tiny portions. They are tiny. It doesn't fill you up though either, does it? No, because it's just water. But at least we'll go home lean. Kind of. Or sick. two Kingstons. One in Jamaica. No, isn't there a Kingston in Hull? Oh yeah, you're right, yeah. Just rolling into town now. We average over 28k an hour. That's mega, that's impressive. Like, considering, not a lot of climbing, but you know, these bikes are heavy. That's a big hotel. It wouldn't be Project Vietnam without an unnecessarily big hotel with no people in it. In the middle of nowhere. With the only customers. This place must be what, 500 rooms? But the lobby. It's Christmas in this hotel. It's New Year in this hotel. Our favorite part of the day. Every fucking day. Every day, trying to get our bikes into the room. And they, they genuinely don't care about, they don't care about anything that you would think. They're just they're more worried about us not having the space. Yeah. It's bizarre. As soon as you say, as soon as you show them a translation of, I don't care about the space. All of a sudden they're like, oh, okay, fine. That is not my view. Oh. Shame. <laughs> Shame about whatever like that paint is. Paint all over the windows. Oh, there's our swimming pool, which we're not going to use. And there's our tennis courts, which we're not going to use. And there's our football pitch that we're not going to use. I don't know what that is. I don't really care what we eat, as long as it's moderately edible. <laughs> Unlike lunch. Lunch was shit. <laughs> no, it's not a party. You're the king. Oh, this was a side, but they've brought it as a main. I love octopus. Just not with the brains and the head and the eyes in it. Just not with the eyes. Right, tomorrow, easy day. Next day, hard day. We're all feeling pretty cooked. Flu, crashes, Lawrence is just sleepy all the time, as usual. Thank you so much for watching. And I also want to say a big thank you to all my new patrons, because I know a few of you have done that recently. It really does help, because these trips can get quite expensive. Having said that, not this hotel. It cost us 20 quid for all three of us. Anyway, see you guys tomorrow.